Hey, ISP, Mr. Field here again. So we've moved on from the five types of chemical reactions. And now we're going to start looking at how to balance those chemical equations. So uh, we went through the video yesterday on how to do that by hand. And now we're going to do a simulation to kind of help us out with that. So because I understand when we first learn how to do it by hand, it gets to be a little bit difficult. So yesterday we learned it by hand, started to attempt to do them by hand. And now today this activity or this simulation is going to help us better understand how to do them in the future. So tomorrow we'll kind of keep going with it um, and looking at how to do them by hand. So we got a FET lab that we're gonna do today. So you'll have a link on Canvas where you have, uh, we'll take you to this screen where you have introduction and game, all right? And then you'll have another um, access to this Google Doc all right, where you're going to answer these questions. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through how to do the simulation. All right, so you can answer the questions that are over here. All right, so I'm going to have my spleen split. You don't have to do that, but it is an option for you to do it. All right, so part one, balancing the equations. Okay, so we are just wanting to have the introduction open. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have make ammonia. All right, up here on the top, I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger, all right, so that way we're just looking at this. Okay, tools, all right, there's none, there's this balance, and then there's also this bar um, graph kind of looking thing. So I'm going to go with none for right now. So as we're going through this, when we, right now we have zero coefficients in front of this. So there it there is no N2, there is no H2, and that yields us nothing there is no nh3 so we got to let's start with something let's start with one so we have one of each atom all right so now we have one uh, molecule of each compound okay we have one n2 we have one h2 and we have one nh3 so when we look at this on the left side or on the reactant side we have two blue dots which represent nitrogen and we have two white dots that represent hydrogen so two and two over here, we have one blue dot, which again is still nitrogen because that's what it was over here. And we have three white dots. So we got to get them equal. That's what we're going for. We want them to be equal. So what we can do is I can throw that balance up there. And now we can see that our nitrogens are not balanced. Our hydrogens are not balanced. Okay. We want them to be equal so that both of these scales have to be equal. So one of the first things is just kind of start balancing one element at a time. So let's balance the nitrogen first. So to do that, we need to bring in another NH3 because we need two nitrogens. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nitrogen is now balanced. Okay. Now our hydrogen is way off. It's super lopsided. We have six white dots over here. All right. So we got to get this H2 to where we have six white dots. So we add another one. I don't think it gets us the four. We're not quite there. And then finally, we get it to being balanced. All right. And now everything lit up yellow. We're nice and happy. So when we go back to our document, so I'm going to leave that up. Okay. Go back to our document, making ammonia, which is what we did. We would need to put our coefficients in. So we need to put in the numbers that we see right here. So a one right here, a one. You know what? I'm going to actually highlight that and just put it in like that. Maybe a space there. And then two, our H2, we have a three in front of it. And then in H3, we've got the number two in front of it. All right. So we have that kind of look to it. All right. If we keep looking, though, this, then we have this middle box. Particle view. Draw what you see in the white boxes. So what we need to do here is we need to put basically what we see right here in these two white boxes in our simulation in this box all right so what you can do is go up to insert go to drawing hit new and then do the scribble right, it's loading slowly so we select this icon right here and then we say scribble and then get that stylus out of your laptop and draw what you see so we would draw kind of two small dots or not drawing very well for me. All right. And then we go on and so so on and so forth. 
All right, so again, you can actually probably just use the shapes instead of the scribble now that I say that. So let's clear this real quick. Let's actions. Oh, it's not clearing it. Where's my eraser? And I would actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just do the shapes. So we just draw a dot, draw another dot, get them combined, and then we get them inserted in to the picture. Okay, so that's how you do that part. Of course, the my computer wants to move slow now that I'm trying to do this for you, help you all out with that. All right. So that's the that's what that middle column says is to draw what the what you see in those two boxes right there. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. The last thing, uh, the last column of it is to draw what you see on the scale. So again, it's going to be a two and a two for nitrogen and then six and six for hydrogen. All right, so sorry about that. I don't know what happened to my Google Doc with that, but it definitely went away for some odd reason. So um, yeah, sorry about that. So again, we'll go back and we'll look at this simulation. Okay, and then you have to do the same thing with separating water or the decomposition of water and then the combustion of methane gas. All right, so again, we can see a couple different things we could have had it as um, bars to help us out or none, okay? The second part, after you answer a few questions, it asks you to do a game. So basically, you're gonna go through all three levels and it progresses and it's gonna be the same as the simulation, but it's got a bunch of various um, compounds that are chemical reactions that you have to get balanced, all right? So as you go through, you're gonna play all three levels. Once you get finished and after you check it, so, Again, we got to make sure stuff matches up in terms of oxygens on each side. Okay, if I want to check this one, I hit check. Oh, it's not balanced. All right, I'm going to hit try again. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. If you don't have an answer, you can hit show why. And then it's going to tell you, it's going to give you those scales back. So that way it can give you a little bit of help. All right, so you're going to go through and you're going to try and then you're going to move on to the next one because I had had it show me the answer. We're going to keep going through. And when you're done, you need to write down what you got for a score out of 10 points. All right. So challenge um, two of five. So it's the second equation. It'll give you a score that's based out of 10. You need to put that down on your Google Doc um, for level one. And then you just need to move on to the second level. All right, and then the third. So you're going to do all three levels. All right, I want you to progress through all three levels and then put those scores down. And then you're going to just submit that assignment. So that way, this hopefully gives us a better understanding, since it's interactive, on how to balance chemical equations. So I hope this uh, walkthrough video helped you out a little bit. Again, sorry that my Google Doc disappeared on me um, when I tried to do the scribble function. All right. Again, sorry about that. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to hop in on the Zoom call so that way I can help walk you through again. But give this video a shot first. All right. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. See you guys in a few days. And this is Mr. Fields signing off.